Hello, this is Mark from tradeinform.com and welcome to this video on backtesting a random entry and technical indicator entry strategy. So this video uh, carries on from the previous video that I recorded about backtesting a purely random entry trading strategy. I wanted to see in this video how and whether a trading strategy can be profitable using a purely random entry combined with a trailing stop. Now the trailing stop, the type of trailing stop that I've been using is based on the ATR, the average true range. And as part of the tests, I'm looking at different multiples of the ATR. So there is a link on the screen if you would like to look at the previous video and the results of that. The Basically, the results showed that it is possible to m trade a trading strategy using a purely random entry and still be profitable. In fact, all four multiples of the ATR were, in fact, profitable. However, I don't think many people are going to trade a purely random entry trading system for the simple reason in that because it's random, you will get a high level of variability in the result. So if you could, did have a hundred trading accounts, for example, and you traded each one of them uh, using a random entry system, you would very well expect to be profitable based on these results. However, if like most of us, you only have a couple of different trading accounts, it is more difficult to make this work. So what I wanted to do is to try and refine it a little bit and combine it still using the random element, but combine it with technical indicators. Now the technical indicators that I've chosen are very simple. The I'm using a 34 period SMA to indicate the market trend. I'm looking at firstly, taking positions in the direction so above the SMA for long trades and below the SMA for short trades. Then I'm looking at the opposite of this. I'm looking to take long positions when the market is below the SMA and short positions when it is above the SMA. The next two let lot of simulations use Bollinger Bands. Now the Bollinger Band is a pretty nice technical indicator and what I'm looking to do is open trades when the market is calm. The first set of simulations use a Bollinger Band with a 1 standard deviation of 1 and the second sets use a standard deviation of 2. Obviously, the standard deviation of two will allow more trades because it's a much wider area. So what you're seeing on the screen at the moment is the 100 scenarios. Each one of these simulation I've tested 100 times. Um, this is one of the differences between this video and the previous video. I've looked at the variability and decided that I want to use 100 runs of each test to improve the accuracy and robustness of each simulation. So I'm not going to run through all of them now, obviously. I'm just running through the very last um, test, which is the four multiplier of four of the ATR trailing stop on the standard deviation of two for the Bollinger Band. The reason I like using a random entry is because for this very reason we get to test it over and over again using the same data and to see how the results fared given the different random entries. Okay so I'm just going to copy this down now and I'm going to switch on to the results page and we have now all the different scenarios filled in. On the left here we have the results of the purely random entry. These aren't exactly the same results shown in the previous video but they are the results from the article accompanying the previous video. The reason for this is that I've actually tested more data 
I've run 100 simulations for each one of these and I think obtained a more robust result because of it. So moving on to the middle ones, we can see here, I'm just going to make some very general points about this. There will be an article to accompany it, this video, and please do click on the link for more information. But really making some very general points to be expected really to me above the 34 SMA. So ideally these are trades in the direction of the trend. We're getting better results. We've got generally slightly better winning percentage although there is a decline on the 3 ATR test however we've got generally higher winning percentage if we compare them here to the below the SMA so these are trading when the market is relatively weak we don't do quite as well if we look over here these are the tests that I've just done using first of all a Bollinger Band with one standard deviation. So within this fairly tight channel, we're assuming that the market is fairly calm and has the strength to move in either direction. And these results are borne out reasonably well. We've got a pretty good percentage of winning tests in most of the scenarios. We've got a good average profit and our average profit factor which is the absolute value of all the winning trades divided by the losing trades, is also holding up quite strong. If we look at the two standard deviation Bollinger Bands, which is the normal Bollinger Bands, we can see that we do have a decline in the percentage of winning tests. Although interestingly, this one ATR scenario does show its highest average profit. So I have skipped through those results fairly quickly. There will be more information on the article, but I think, for me anyway, what I can take away is that random entry in itself is a bit of a risky way to do things. Certainly welcome to try it, but I don't think I'll personally be doing it. However, if we can refine the opportunities for a random entry in such a way as to give ourselves a better chance of success, well, this could actually be a genuine part of a real trading strategy that can be used to uh, increase your account and become a, a more profitable trader. For more information about using Excel to backtest trading strategies and the financial markets in general, please go to www.tradingformed.com.